Hello dear students, once again welcome in the MSBT is e content of environmental studies. It is MSBT e lead study at your doorstep. I am Swati Ingre, course expert, lecturer, NIT Polytechnic, Nagpur. In today's video, we are going to cover the topic biodiversity from unit 3, ecosystem and biodiversity. Course outcome, conserve ecosystem and biodiversity. Unit outcome, describe the value of biodiversity. Learning objective. After viewing this video, students will able to understand the values of biodiversity. From concept map, you will understand the content of today's video. We are going to see the values of biodiversity like consumptive use value, productive use value, social use value, ethical and moral values and aesthetic values. At the same time, we are going to see the biodiversity assessment initiative in India, the forest ecosystem, the waterland ecosystem, coastal and marine ecosystem. Let us see what is biodiversity. Biodiversity is the term used to describe the variety of life found on the earth and all of the natural processes. This includes the ecosystem, different species and their connection with each other. Then which are the different values of biodiversity? Means what is the importance of biodiversity? Consumptive use value, productive use value, social use value ethical and moral values and aesthetic values. Because of all these values, biodiversity is very very important. Let us see one by one. The first is consumptive use value. It is the direct utilization of biodiversity by local communities like Adivasis. The biodiversity contained in the ecosystem provides forest dwellers with all their daily needs like food, building material, fodder, medicines and variety of other products. They are well known about the qualities and different uses of the wood, fruits, flowers, seeds, etc. from different species of trees. Fisher fox are completely dependent on fish. They fulfill their all the requirement from the products which is obtained from the water. Second type of value is productive use value. New species of plants and animals are being constantly discovered by biotechnologists. These wild species are the building blocks for betterment of the human life. Biological diversity is the raw material from which new drug can be identified from plant or animal products. Genetic diversity enables the scientists and farmers to selectively develop better crops and domestic animals through careful breeding program. This category also comprises of marketable products such as animal skin, ivory, medicinal plant, honey, bee wax, fiber, gum, etc. <coughs> the next type of value is social use value. Ecosystem people value biodiversity as a part of their livelihood as well as through cultural and religious sentiment. Biodiversity in India is important for its religious, spiritual and other cultural uses. Many plants and animals are worshipped as a god in the Indian culture. You can see from these figures that the plants are worshipped, the animals are worshipped, they are having the many medicinal values and many other values. Then ethical and moral values. Ethical values of biodiversity are based on the importance of protecting all form of life. Man is only a small part of the earth's great, fa great family of species. Plants and animals have an equal right to live and exist on the planet. Indian civilization has preserved the nature through local traditions over several generations. This value is called as ethical and moral value. It is our moral responsibility to protect the plants and animals and the entire environment. Aesthetic value. Biodiversity is a beautiful and wonderful aspect of nature. For example, sitting in a forest and listening to the birds, watching a spider weaving its complex web, observing a fish, it is just magnificent and fascinating. 
Biodiversity is a source of imagination and creativity for writers and poets. It is important for tourist attraction. In many countries, history and culture is reflected through the plant and animal image. Means it is having importance from centuries. Biodiversity Assessment Initiative in India. What the Indian constitution or Indian government is doing for biodiversity conservation and assessment. India is one of the 17 mega diverse countries on the planet with only 2.4% of the world's land area. Yet accounts for 7 to 8% of all recorded species. India's growing population, rapid economic growth and industrialization have increased the pressure on biodiversity and ecosystem services. The conservation of biodiversity and ecosystem is vital national priority as they are linked to the country's economic, ecological and social well-being. Economic valuation of ecosystem services and biodiversity are used to improve the conservation and management of the ecosystems. The initiative focused on the three type of ecosystem that is forest ecosystem, the wetland ecosystem and coastal and marine ecosystem. Let us see one by one. The first type of ecosystem is forest ecosystem. Forest is an area with a high density of trees together with other plants covering a large area of land. India's successful endeavor in expanding forest cover is widely acknowledged. An effective Forest Conservation Act 1980 further strengthened by the National Forest Policy 1988. A massive afforestation program, establishment of biosphere reserve and revegetation of degraded land through joint forest management and people's participation account for the success in the forest and biodiversity conservation. It is the lead taken by the Indian government for the conservation of forest ecosystem. The second major type of ecosystem is inland wetland ecosystem. Wetlands are ecosystem located at the interface of the land and water. Inland wetland refer to, the, to those wetland which don't have a direct connection with the sea. The floral diversity supported by these ecosystems range from unicellular algae, bryophytes, mosses and ferns to the woody angiosperms. The number of plant species within Indian wetland is nearly 1200. The government of India has been implementing the National Wetland Conservation Program called as NWCP since the year 1985 to 86. Aim of this program is the conservation of wetland in the country so as to prevent their further degradation and ensuring their wise use for the benefit of local communities and overall conservation of biodiversity. It is about the inland wetland ecosystem. The third very very important type of ecosystem is coastal and marine ecosystem. The coastal and marine ecosystem provide many services to human society and are a great economic value like food and water resources and raw materials like sand and other high value heavy minerals like ilemnite, zircon, monazite etc. which are collected from the beach sand. The number of species in the coastal and marine ecosystem is suggested to be more than 13,000. It is also known for high biological productivity which provide a wide range of habitat for many aquatic flora and fauna. India has established 31 coastal and marine protected areas called as CMPAS and several species have been listed under the Wildlife Protection Act 1972. Now, what are the major key takeaways about the biodiversity? Biodiversity adds a flavor in healthy environment. Hence, its conservation is a global need. Let us see the summary. What we learned today? Today, we have studied the consumptive use value of biodiversity, productive use value, social use value, ethical and 
moral use value and aesthetic value and also see the initiative taken by the Indian government for the protection of biodiversity. Biodiversity assessment initiative in India that is forest ecosystem, inland wetland ecosystem and coastal and marine ecosystem. These all are the references for the today's video content and at last thank you all have a nice day. Happy learning, keep learning. Now let's have a quiz.